When I was in middle school and high school, my English teachers always taught us to write a three-part thesis. For instance, Huckleberry Finn is this, this, and this. And then those three things that I put into my three-part thesis would become my three-body paragraphs, and my paper would be simple to write. Maybe not very interesting, but simple. These days, most teachers have moved away from such a simplistic approach to writing a thesis statement. However, there are things about it that remain kind of helpful and remain a little bit sophisticated. So we're gonna look at a more sophisticated, more professional way to do something similar today in writing a thesis statement. Today's move is a descriptive list claim. Let's take a look at an example of a descriptive list claim from Juno Diaz writing about the novel Deacon King Kong for the New York Times. Deacon King Kong is many things, a mystery novel, a crime novel, an urban farce, a portrait of a project community. So here's what we can instantly notice about the way Juno Diaz composes this descriptive list claim. First of all, he sets us up that this novel is not just one thing, it's many things. And think about it, this could work for a character too, right? This character is many things. There are many themes in this novel. This work covers many important topics. So he begins by naming his text, Deacon King Kong, and then he says it is many things, colon. That colon is setting up our descriptive list that list that's going to describe Deacon King Kong. Now you could swap out this colon for a dash. Grammatically, they are just about the same. It's a personal style preference. Then he makes a list of all of those different things that describe Deacon King Kong, which he is going to unpack in more detail in his review. A mystery novel, comma, a crime novel, comma, an urban farce, comma, a portrait of a project community. It is simple, but it is so effective in letting your reader know that you aren't going to pigeonhole the text that you are writing about into being just one thing, but rather you are about to explore the many aspects of this novel, and here they are. You're giving them a little preview. Also notice here that Juno Diaz has four words or phrases that are describing Deacon King Kong. You'll see in the other mentor text that we have for you as examples, there are a variety of numbers of things we can put into this list. So whereas my English teachers told me it had to be three, you can have three or you can have five. You can have as many as you need to have until you have fully communicated your idea. Let's take a look at some other writers who are using a descriptive list claim. the big ideas that you're going to be discussing by putting them into your claim with a colon or a dash in list form. Where would you like to show early on in your piece of writing that the text you are writing about is lots of things. It has many different sides and you're going to be exploring multiple ones of them. Where could a descriptive list claim help you get your idea out? Thanks so much for watching Mini Moves for Writers. We'd love it if you would like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our new moves.